Hi, John Marshall, the Drillmaster. This is William J. Brennan High School from 2022 with their armed exhibition performance. And I've been asked to critique uh, a series of videos. So this will be the first one in the series. And I'll get, over, get through them over the next few days. One of the things I was specifically asked about was commenting on the uniform. Uh, as well as giving a, a uh, performance critique. So as we go through the different videos, I'll make comments based on uh, the uniform. Now, one thing that I don't do, I'm not the uniform master. I don't keep up with all the requirements of the service uniforms for JROTC. I'm retired Air Force. I remember some things about the the uh, Air Force uniform, but honestly, it's it has... Uh, little impact on what I do except here with the uh, uh, with judging with adjudicating uh, the different routines uh, the uniform has an impact uh, on the performance at times so it just depends so it looks like commander has a rifle so Love the yellow. the The kick out was great. Nice uh, accent there. It's it's that's called flash. So just a, so I, I've got to tell you, <clears throat> that's a basic entrance. That's a that's a very basic entrance. Just to, <clears throat> I call it the L. Because the the team will march up, flank over, go over and report in. It's typical and it's it's not very inventive. So with the rifle work that I'm seeing, I would expect a little more in the drill design. So so what we have here is it's just is a slow computer. Uh, what we have honestly is is a performance that so far doesn't uh, doesn't meet up, doesn't match. So with the rifle, or with the commander having a rifle, that means that the commander can integrate his or herself in the performance. So nice uh, pause there. I really appreciate that right here coming up. With the, the rifle uh, uh, flared forward, that, that worked well, although it wasn't as, uh, as precise as it could have been. So if I'm not mistaken, I think I've, this is a very familiar entrance, especially with the first, uh, the first element uh, position there. Let's see the, so <clears throat> there's, there's a, there's a timing issue here, but I also think there's a technique issue as well. And that's why you see uh, variation in the rifle movements. So I, I really wish I knew how to slow these down and then show you precisely what I mean, but I'll, we'll just have to rely on stopping here. This is very familiar, uh, the report in. So I'm pretty sure now watch here, starting here, you can see there is a timing issue. That's, that's definite. Um, there's the the rifles many of the rifles are already in the port position so and what i mean by port position they're already rotated over from here to here about here uh and and then there are a couple of rifles that are still uh pointed sling uh directly backwards the others are coming over uh, a little more <clears throat> So that's that's uh, that's timing. Oh, I apologize. Uh, it's one of those uh, one of those days. But there, that spin, 
it most likely it's also timing. <clears throat> but then you have the butt slams. Uh, the butt slams, uh, some are slightly on the toe. Yeah, I remember this. I do. So <clears throat> I either judged this performance at another drill meet uh, video. But there's also, the, so you can see a technique issue in here. Let me, um, coming up right here. So look the way the, the, the rifles are pointing. So we have some with barrel forward, some with barrel right, and even one or two with barrel left. So it's all about technique and where the left hand is is uh, taking the rifle. Now, obviously, obviously, right hand has a lot to do with it as well. But <clears throat> uh, an issue like this really does uh, create a, a a lesser overall effect. Not only the timing, but also the technique and and you know the directions of all the rifles. It's <clears throat> inconsistent application of uh, of uh, the same technique. I'm not going to talk about. Um, it's not proper technique and it's not improper technique. It's more of the same technique that you want. Yes, sure. There's there's proper and improper on a few things that we can talk about, uh, uh, possibly in this video or our other videos. But here, it's just you want the same technique of either the the barrel pointing to the right, the forward, or to the left. And most likely, they want it to the to uh, point forward during the spin. And okay, so I'll try not to uh, to pause anymore. But that yellow really does stick out, and that really does work well for them. Now I would suggest another yellow accent, and uh, uh, but just something slight in the the yellow accent could be a shoulder cord. It would work really well. Nice pass through there, separation that worked really well. The the drill is is uh, 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 fairly complex there. I mean, not overly complex, but it was fairly complex. Now the spacing really didn't work uh, all that well on uh, a couple of the ranks. So the the only highlight for this uniform then is is the ascot and it has it looks like the uh, the school patch the unit patch in there but even uh, honestly even if that was yellow but then again I think there's yellow in the uh, in the patch so having a black ascot having the the yellow accents up against the black background I think that works well No, I don't. I really want to go back, but I don't want to, the the video to lag. So this will force me to uh, keep my my comments brief. So in an armed performance, you really want to minimize marching around at port because everybody can do it. There's nothing really special about that so you you create a this is a nice peak here this is this is good <clears throat> uh, a performance peak uh, but then marching at port then brings that uh, the level of the performance lower and you want peaks and valleys and that's good but the the, the valleys really uh, should be minimal So long time to set this up, <clears throat> and it it could have been, really should have been, uh, quicker. And I like that the the females are are in the uh, in the center of each of the tetrads. That works well. 
So it shows that there was a thought process in the design here of, of putting the girls in uh, inside the, uh, the box of four. Although, okay, so, well... Okay, so I have to ask, why did you do that? Why did you create two tetrads and not use them for exchanges? That's that's really the whole point of the tetrad, is to give people something to look at. Now you've 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 moved quite far away from your audience here, and there really wasn't any reason. It could have taken the tetrads and spread them out right where they were all oh, well pretty much uh, just it looked like just forward of uh center field here so the the flow of some of the movements here in the long line the were a little sticky I don't know uh, exactly uh, how how else to uh, describe that. Sticky, I guess, is a, a good way. So slight phasing issues here. You can see some rifles hitting uh, later than others. So what's the what's the point of of staying in this position? This is nice. This works this works well. It's very forceful as the team comes forward, nice and slow. Uh, uh, the the steps are really quite uh, uh, quite powerful. With that slight pause in there, it it just it does work. But the 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 movements uh, in place, and then while marking time, not exactly the uh, the type of performance you would expect uh, based on the rest of the uh, at least that section uh, based on the rest of the uh, routine. I appreciate the turnaround there, and also marching backwards, and then the uh, the step off, the step off to the right. That was great. Really, that worked well. So yeah, actually, so uh, my slow internet issue is causing me to, uh, yeah, <laughs> causing me to uh, uh, keep my my comments coming and brief, and so. Uh, it, it, imbalance there in the performance uh, uh, at times with uh, uh, with the the rifle movement being at a, a a fairly high level, but then the marching just not really meeting any kind of uh, uh, of uh, probably being at a a, a low moderate uh, low middle level there. Uh, but then also uh, having the taking the marching or the or drill design, if you want to call it that, uh, taking that up a notch into the the higher, more advanced uh, area. But then uh, the time the team spends a lot of time in the 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 uh, the box formation, and so it, it's lots of military flavor in there. It's it and there is some intensity. It just it. A lot of it doesn't seem to integrate well, um, and uh, uh, well, I'm kind of foggy, I guess, this morning. But uh, still, it's a, a a good performance. There, there is a a slight issue with excellence in there, but uh, well, anyway. So. Um, so this is the first of the series, and I'll just keep going. Uh, thank you so much for the request, and we'll uh, 
uh, and I hope my comments are helpful in this uh, in this area. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it.